close-up of three brands at the Spring Summer Tokyo Collection. Menswear designer instills confidence. The prestigious Mainichi Fashion Grand Prix and popular faux fur. Hello, I'm Aki Shibuya, and welcome to Tokyo Fashion Express. To Jun Hashimoto, this week's designer, clothes are yoroi, the Japanese for samurai armor. It was said that donning the appropriate yoroi, or armor, greatly affects the movements and the proper execution of even the simplest of actions. Hashimoto believes a vital role of clothing is not only to protect the wearer, but also enhance his style. His materials are light and delicate, appearing almost fragile, and his designs are created to build a man's self-confidence. Let's see how he does it. But first, it's catwalk trends, and we're off to the runways. We take a look at three players on the Tokyo men's fashion scene. This collection is about growing up. Designer Seishin Matsui shows story of a man departs from previous boyish imagery to pursue more mature men. Pants look like pleated skirts and shirts wrapped at the waist for a gender-neutral image. Sheer and shiny fabrics as well as formal silhouettes look mature. Old prints such as botanicals are prominent. The show closes with jacquard fabrics featuring Tokyo themed graphic prints. Matsuyu wanted to distance himself from signature boyish themes. While maintaining his innocent sensibility, he moved forward by adding sophisticated, edgy elements. Designer Yuichi Kuroda presents a collection inspired by U.S. abstract expressionist painters. Pale color brush strokes are inspired by the frames in Rothko's Seagram murals. Gradation is also used in homage to the series. Feather motifs are based on Japanese calligraphy-like abstracts. Minimal jackets and shirts have no lapels or collars. Layered aprons and pants have square silhouettes. Kuroda says the collection emerged after fully immersing himself in abstract expressionism. Flamenco dancers spraying fragrance. A passionate performance ensues. Designer Yoshio Kubo was inspired by Andalusia. Commanding matador looks. Red and blue sketches of southern Spain. Marine tricolor borders and anchors. Original prints with olive trees, flowers, and seagulls are inspired by Aloha shirts. Kubo calls them Spanish Aloha.
Ten years after launching his brand, the designer has moved to confront and change his style, and his wonderful collection attests to this. And now, Nippon style. It said, legs, three centimeters longer. Appearance, three kilos thinner. Doesn't that sound great? Slimming wear to build a man's confidence is the concept behind Jun Hashimoto's line, which elongates the look of the legs and slenderizes the body. What's the secret? Jun Hashimoto's clothes are designed to show off men's figures. Form-fitting silhouettes naturally highlight masculinity. His basic designs are flattering. Jun Hashimoto's clothes boost a man's self-confidence. He never draws during the design process. He starts out with detailed meetings with his team. The image of the clothing is fleshed out through these exchanges. <laughs> he evaluates materials through touch. <laughs> He creates clothing that he wants to wear. It's not possible for me to design clothing that I don't want to wear myself. And as a rule, I like simple, basic items. But the basics can be boring. They may lack defining characteristics. I want to create basics that are not basic. They must have definition. I'm working on how to achieve that. Hashimoto's design motto is plus three centimeters minus three kilograms. We visited his Omote Sando shop to see exactly what this means. Two men wear Jun Hashimoto outfits for us. One is of average build. He is transformed. His legs look longer and his waistline reduced. This gentleman has a somewhat heavy build. He now looks more confident. His masculinity is enhanced. The cuts make wearer's legs look three centimeters longer, resulting in a three kilogram slimmer appearance. Jun Hashimoto describes his clothes as armor. Women choose clothing to look slimmer or for a fairer complexion. They place importance on that. I think that should be the same for men. The word armor represents this idea. When people wear clothing that suits them, they feel more confident. Not only beautiful clothes, but also such self-assurance impresses people. That's the main function of my armor designs. His armor is crafted according to precise calculations. 
the high collar creates a sharp neckline. Closely woven stiff fabric keeps the collar from losing shape. A narrowing towards the waist has a slimming effect. The designer knows all the tricks to make men more attractive. Hashimoto became a designer after working overseas as a buyer. His concept is to keep making only what he likes. And now, he's approaching overseas markets. When I was a buyer, I handled a lot of merchandise. I'd think, ah, if it was only a bit longer, or I wish they had chosen a different fabric. I was often dissatisfied this way. I learned a lot. I learned to judge. Duralumin buttons were born of such dissatisfaction. Unhappy with conventional buttons, he started designing his own. Then he eliminated buttons for hooks. His hook shirts have become casual standards. The hooks themselves are inspired by the metal attachment for sails. The narrow silhouette features a tight waistline and vertical creases that add nuance. Depending on patterns and fabrics, the shirts look different even though the core design is shared. That's why the designer places importance on textile selection. The textile factory is well stocked with samples and swatches. Hashimoto is here to select fabrics for the 2014 season. Based on advice given here, he makes his selection. He's drawn to an orange blood red check. The designer twists the fabric to see if its expression would work for vertical creasing. Toshihiro Oyagi has long collaborated with Hashimoto. デザイナーの人たちっていうのはやっぱりまた自分の特徴もちょっと色濃く出したいっていう部分ではそういう細かなところまでできる範疇であれば僕たちの中でお伝えお手伝いはできるとは思うのでやれる範疇はなるべく
We hope to enter the Asian market soon, as they present a similar size range to Japan. But doing so requires more brand recognition. So we'll start out by focusing on Europe and the United States to see how our merchandise does. We have yet to decide on the number of shops to launch overseas, but we're confident our clothing will get a favorable response from people who buy them. We have to start somewhere, maybe with even just one store. A business partner is convinced the brand will succeed in Asian markets. そういった時にうちの橋本が作ってる服っていうのは例えば手足が長く見える背が高く見える彼らがこう着ていた時にすごく自分たちにプライドを持てたりとか自信を持っていけるという服を提供できる人うまくプロモーションができて彼らに伝
as the designer contemplates internationally competitive design and function. We want to produce designs that endure for up to three years. We want items to become more comfortable through wear. That said, we must keep up with the times by adopting new and better materials. We need to fine-tune every year in order to evolve. That's very important. Making clothes starts with a dialogue with material. Jun Hashimoto concentrates on this important process. Refusing to turn a blind eye to what he dislikes, the designer pursues the clothing of his desires. Jun Hashimoto's designs are created to make the man wearing them look fabulous. As his brand gains popularity, I suppose more men of the world will be looking better and better. Gives us women some great eye candy to enjoy. Up next, the word in the streets with Tokyo Buzz. The Mainichi Fashion Grand Prix was established to develop and enliven culture by rewarding outstanding achievements in the fashion industry. And winter's here. Time for us to bundle up and keep warm. Nothing more elegant than the new look of fall fur. An award ceremony for Japan's prestigious Mainichi Fashion Grand Prix 2013 was held. This year's grand prize was awarded to undercover designer Jun Takahashi, who resumed presenting his runway work at the Paris collection after a two-year hiatus. <laughs> Fashion journalist Kazuyuki Yamamuro, who passed away in 2013, received an award given to people who have made contributions to the development of fashion. He had covered the world fashion scene for more than 25 years. He also appeared frequently on our program as a guest commentator. Asatasm's Hiromichi Ochiai won the Best New Designer Award. His 2014 Spring Summer Collection was presented at the venue. As the days get chilly, we're seeing more fur. Some are going big on it. Others enjoy it on accessories. Tokyo girls are getting into faux fur. This young woman is wearing camouflage fake fur. This fake fur sweater has block motifs. Let's visit a select shop catering to trend conscious women. This mustard yellow coat is the most popular here.
Another trendy item. この冬は特にえっとこういった原色だけじゃなくてパステルカラーが登場しているのが今年の傾向かと思います。今までだとこうちょっとパーティーのワンピースでしたりとかドレスにこう本当にお出かけ用で羽織るみたいな感覚のアイテムだったとは思うんですけれども今年は本当にこうストリートだったりカジュアル本当にデニムとかパーカーの上にもうデイリーに活用できるファーがすごく多いですね。フリーインサートスクールこちらは、えー、こういったクリア素材を使っていてインソールには、えー、このファーのカラーファーを、えー、ぎっしり使っているという面白い素材の組み合わせのブーツです履いてしまったら見えないんですけれども実際にこう例えば脱いだ時にあこういう風にインソールがファーなんだとかこう置いてみても楽しいし履いてみても楽しいっていうアイテムではあります。Let's check out a casual brand popular among teens. New attractive outerwear and clutch bags feature furry bits. Brilliant fake furs will brighten cold winter days. It's interesting to see how fashion can affect the way we feel about ourselves. And Japan has such a long and fascinating fashion history. And Japanese designers have been known to wow the world with their out of the box thinking, surprising us with the twists and turns of new trends. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.